Hello everyone. In this video, I'll guide you through the complete process of installing and setting up NetBeans IDE on your Windows operating system. NetBeans IDE requires Java to run. We'll start by installing the latest version of Java JDK. Once Java is installed, we'll move on to installing NetBeans itself. And then finally, we'll create and run a simple Java project in NetBeans to make sure everything is working properly. So let's get started with the first step, installing Java. Open your web browser and type Oracle Java in the search bar, then press enter. Click on the first link from oracle.com. On the page, select download Java, then scroll down to find the Windows tab and click on Windows. We will download x64xc installer file. Click on the link to start the download. It will start downloading and it will take some time depending on your internet speed, so please be patient. Download is complete. Now go ahead and right click on it and choose open to begin the installation. Allow the app. So click on yes. You will see Java installation wizard window. Click next to continue. You'll see the default installation path for Java. By default, it will install in drive C. There's no need to change it. So just click next again. The installation will now begin. Give it a moment to complete. After the setup finishes, click close to exit the installer. Now, let's configure the system environment variables. First, open File Explorer and go to Program Files, then Java, and then open the bin directory. Copy the bin folder path by right-clicking on the address bar and selecting Copy. Next, go to the Start menu and search for Environment Variables, then open it. In the System Properties window, click on the Environment Variables button. Then, under the System Variables section, find and double-click on Path. In the New window, click New, then right-click and paste the path you copied earlier. After that, click OK, then again OK, and one final OK to close everything. Now that Java is installed and configured, let's verify that everything is working correctly. Open Windows Start Menu and search CMD, open Command Prompt. Type the command Java hyphen hyphen version and press Enter. You should now see the Java version printed on the screen, which means the installation was successful. That's it. We've successfully installed and configured the latest version of Java. Now, let's move on to installing NetBeans. Open your web browser and in the search bar, type NetBeans, then press enter. Click on the first result, which will take you to the official NetBeans website. You'll see the latest available version listed. Currently, it's NetBeans 26. Click on the download button. Find the installers and packages section. Click on friends of Apache NetBeans link. Then download NetBeans for Windows. Click on Apache NetBeans link to begin the downloading. The file size is around 585 megabytes, so wait for it to finish downloading. Once the download is complete, right click on the NetBeans installer file and select Open to begin the installation process. If a prompt appears asking whether to run the file, click Run. And when prompted by user account control, click Yes to allow the installation. The NetBeans setup window will appear. You'll see the default installation path displayed. There's no need to change it. Simply click Next. You'll also be given the option to create a desktop shortcut. Leave the default settings as they are and click Next. Then click Install to start the installation. Once the installation is complete, click Finish to close the setup wizard. NetBeans is now successfully installed and ready to use. To launch NetBeans, either double-click the desktop shortcut or search for NetBeans in the Start menu. Now, to create a new Java project, you can either click New Project from the main screen or go to File and then New Project. 
In the project wizard, select Java application and click Next. Give your project a name. In this example, I'll name it First Application. Name should be without any space. You can also define a custom package if you want. You'll see the project location listed. You can keep the default settings and then click Finish. NetBeans will now create your new project. The default code structure will appear automatically. You will find all your project files in left side of window. Now let's add some simple code to test the setup. I'll edit the line to print Hello World Byte Geek. To run the program, simply right click inside the editor window and choose Run File. As you can see, the output displays Hello World Byte Geek, which confirms that our code is working as expected. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on future tutorials and tech tips. If you have any questions or ran into any issues while installing or setting up NetBeans, feel free to drop a comment below. I'm always happy to help. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.